Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everyone. My name is Muhammad Mimiman bin Anwar. I'm currently 12 years old. I study at Sekolah Kemasa M51, Lima Melaka. Today I'm going to share with you one of the books that I like the most. The title is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It is written by Jeff Kinney. It was published by Emulian Books in April 1st, 2007. Diary of a Wimpy Kid is a novel series where you can get it at any local bookstores around you. This book is mainly about an 11-year-old boy, Gray Hefley, who tries to create a better image for himself and also has a dream to become popular at his school in his own unthinkable ways. At the beginning of the new year, he will list all of his resolution to achieve his dream in his dinner, but let's just say it always didn't go out as planned. His day would most likely end up with lots of hilarious un and unexpected events involving people around him, especially his funny family. One of my favorite events in this story is when Grace's family went to their local cathedral, but Grace's brother decided to pull a prank by putting chocolate on Grace's pants, which made Grace feel so embarrassed and refused to enter the cathedral. I'm interested in this book because the main character, Gray, has somehow genuinely portrayed a boy of his age who is trying to adjust to new rules and changes in himself to his humorous gender writing. This somehow has led me to reflect on myself when I'm adapting with some new stuff or dealing with certain challenges in my life. The most significant lesson that I have learned from this story is even though sometimes things may not go out on our way, but the effort should be there every single day. So don't stress out. Never give up and just enjoy our life. Remember, there are always better days ahead. I totally recommend Diary of a Wimpy Kid to everyone who hasn't read it, as I myself could not stop from laughing and giggling most of the way through reading in reading this book. Well, friends, let's make reading as our lifetime hobby. As there is saying that goes about a room without a book is like a body without a soul. So don't forget to read. That's all for me. Thank you.